hello friends now in this video i will explain adjustment layers like how we can use these layers so if you have opened something uh, like any image so for photo editing for image editing we can use adjustment layers and these all options one by one let me show you like the first one is for example this one uh, brightness and contrast so if you click brightness and contrast you can see brightness contrast layer will appear here and the properties panel will automatically open so the brightness now we can increase from here for this image and contrast if you want to reduce if you want to increase both options like we can reduce or increase from here so this is brightness and contrast so this is one layer which we have used so as i said like i will show one by one so i will delete the layer from here and now you can see like the next is levels so levels if you apply so here you can see like default preset darker it will be dark you can see and uh, increase contrast one increase contrast two increase contrast three so these are the options you can see so without the levels image was like this and with levels now you can see images like this there is rgb you can also select like green option and from here you can increase or reduce it like this one you can see so now you can see first it was like this and like now the image is like this so this is levels so i will delete the layer and now curves in curves we have rgb presets there are obviously like color negative rgb you can apply or cross process there are different options you can apply or from here rgb you can control from here like you can increase or reduce and same if you want to uh, edit green so you can select and you can increase or reduce from here so this is like levels so i will delete it and the next is exposure so exposure you can see like if you increase something like brightness offset and gamma correction and the next is like vibrance so vibrance like like light color image not too much colors so if you want to apply these you can also apply through vibrance and then we have hue saturation so hue saturation if you apply so you can see like this we can control all these colors hue saturation and then we have uh, color balance so color balance we can also control rgb red green blue or cmy cyan magenta and yellow and then we have black and white so if we want to apply black and white just click and it will apply black and white to your image then we have photo filter so in photo filter like you can see the color is here so we can select like yellow and density like we can increase if you select like red you can see the red will apply the so density we can increase or reduce then we have a channel mixer so in channel mixer also you can see there are different options you can apply and then we have uh, the next one is color lookup so here you can see like different options which you can apply and the image you can see editing so we can apply and then we have invert so if you apply invert something like negative of the image we can apply then posturize you can see like this it will apply you can increase or reduce the levels and then we have threshold like sketch of the image and uh, we can increase or reduce the sketching level and uh, then we have selective colors this is cmyk cyan magenta yellow and key we can control and the last one is uh, a gradient map so we can apply a different gradient map like this you can see like this if i want to apply you can see and if opacity you want to make less 
you can make it's up to you so like this we can apply these uh, uh, adjustment layers and uh, one more thing like if you select something first with the any selection tool <coughs> like this you can see I have selected so now if you will apply something for example color balance so now you can see when I will reduce or increase the color balance it will affect only the selected part of the image you can see see so see without this it was like this even see it is uh, like selected if you want to apply like black and white so you can see black and white will apply only here so like this we can apply to the selected layer selected part of the image for example if we have uh, this image so what I will do I will zoom in and will select this part only like the lens of this girl eyes Okay, now selected so if you click color balance and control the color balance you can see it's only changing the color balance of her eyes see and if I again select the background and if we select like her lips and uh, if I apply like color balance again so we can also control the color balance of her lips you can see see something like this so it was first like this now it's something like this so we can also control like from the selected parts objects of the image we can select first and then we can apply and the next thing like uh, if uh, you can see when we apply the color balance it applies as a new layer sometimes we have to apply in the same layer so in layer you can see here new uh, adjustment layer this option will also apply as a separate layer like color balance i apply you can see this will ask the new layer name like um, color balance to one for example and this is now the name of the layer and we can control so from all these options we can also apply from layer new adjustment layer from here you can also see so you can either apply from here or from here and the next option which I want to tell you like sometimes we have to apply in the same layer then select image and adjustments now you can see all options here so we can also apply from here for instance if I apply now color balance and you can see this time it it's a bit different like a panel has been appeared here color balance and color levels you can see zero 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 for cyan magenta and yellow and red green blue so if I increase from here like this is plus 47 if I reduce it will go to minus so if we increase from here you can see like this and then apply this time you can see it has been applied in the same layer in the image not as a separate layer so image and adjustment so from here you can apply for example if we apply another like brightness contrast and brightness if I reduce or increase you can see like this contrast and this time we will click OK and you can see it will apply in the same layer so I hope in this video you have learned a lot about the adjustment panel adjustment layers from where we can apply these options 
if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe and thank you very much for watching this video